So you've probably heard of Dr. Squatch. They're undoubtedly one of the largest all natural soap companies for men. But have you ever wondered if they were actually natural or not? Well, check it out. In this video, we're actually going to be discussing whether or not Dr. Squatch is natural or not. So let's get into the video. Right, guys quick disclaimer in this video I'm not necessarily talking about the quality or whether or not dr. Squatch is good or not in this video we are just putting a little more emphasis on the ingredients and things like that answering the question whether or not dr. Squatch is actually natural or not is dr. Squatch natural well short answer sorta kinda right but long answer gets relatively fairly difficult gets a little complicated right so Let's get into it. Hey guys, just like Stevie here. If you're getting any value or enjoying the video, please feel free to click the like and share button and also leave a comment down below guys. Thank you so much. Now, what I mean by sort of kinda is the fact that we see some inconsistencies across the soaps across the board, right? For example, we'll see something similar like the seed of citrus or the fresh goat's milk, where we'll see all natural ingredients across the board. Then on the flip side, you'll have something like the pine tar or the cool fresh aloe, where according to the website, according to them, right, they will use artificial fragrances or the cool fresh aloe does even use real aloe vera. So when we look at these discrepancies, we can begin to realize that not all the soaps are as natural as they like to claim. And to go a little further with that thought, my advice to you is if there is a soap that you are interested by Dr. Squatch, I encourage you to go a little bit further, do a little more research, take a close look at those ingredients, see if there's any artificial fragrances, any colorants, anything of that nature, and just be aware of it. I'm not, again, I'm not saying it's bad or good, but it's up to you, right? It's your money, it's your choice. I don't want to sway it either way, but I just want to make it aware to you uh, on that decision for you. So be sure to do a little more research on your own. I've been using Dr. Squatch for a little bit over two years now, and I've definitely had my fair share of experiences with their limited editions. And I can tell you as time progressed, their reliance on metal oxides or metal colorants like titanium dioxide or iron oxide or rust, right? Or black rust, things like that has definitely increased. Right. Now, technically, these metal oxides or metal colorants are not necessarily toxic to your health. However, they don't necessarily provide any value to your health as well. For example, another prominent ingredient is activated charcoal. You take that and you compare that to their black iron oxide. Both will provide you a nice, deep, dark black color. It's really pretty, really pretty. It makes the soap looks freaking sweet, right? However, we got a big difference here. Our, metal, our uh, black iron oxide here doesn't provide you any value. It's just there for cosmetic purposes. Whereas our activated charcoal offers you purifying qualities like pulling those nasty toxins out of your skin, right? So you ask yourself this question, which one would you rather in your soap? Answer is pretty obvious if I say so myself. So back to the question at hand, is Dr. Squatch natural? Well, the answer ultimately is it depends. It varies from soap to soap. Some soaps are yes, indeed, 100% all natural, whereas some are featuring less so natural ingredients. So if you're interested in Dr. Squatch, I definitely encourage you to do a little more research. You can do that through my reviews here on the channel. Uh, but either way, guys, take care of yourselves. And as always, stay natural.